Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about what is Salesforce CRM. We are going to do an introduction and the scope of Salesforce. This video is for absolute beginners and for college freshers. So let's start. Uh, this is the things which we are going to discuss today. Uh, so let's start. What is cloud computing? Uh, Salesforce is based on cloud computing technology. So let's discuss what is cloud computing. It is a way to access information and applications online instead of having to build, manage and maintain them on your own hard drive or servers. This is fast, efficient and secure. So previously, if you wanted to build a software application, you had to host, you had to maintain the servers uh, for those applications so that your application is available all over the world. With cloud computing, it, uh, you don't uh, maintain them in your own hardware or servers. Uh, so within cloud computing, we have different type of services. These are SAAS, PAAS and IAAS. SAAS is software as a service. So if you sell a complete software and the end user is using that software without any customization, then you it is a software as a service. Uh, if you have uh, if you sell a sell a service as PAAS, that means the user can customize the, uh, that software according to its needs. So sales uh, Salesforce is both a SAAS and a PAAS. Third is the IAAS, infrastructure as a service. So Salesforce is does not sell in infrastructure as a service. AWS, an example of IAAS service is AWS. A within AWS, Amazon Web Service, you can purchase your servers and host your application for it. Now, uh, we, what is Salesforce CRM? So we have, uh, I've just highlighted some common questions for uh, freshers. So first question is what is CRM? Uh, CRM is customer relationship management, which is a technology for managing all your company's relationship and interactions with customers and potential customers. The goal of CRM is simple. It is to improve the business relationship to grow your business. Uh, so let's say, let's take an example of a big business. A big business uh, has to maintain its relationship with customers. Uh, a big business can have uh, two major services that is sales and uh, uh, sales and service of that sales is like uh, they have to uh, check out for leads they have to uh, convert those leads into accounts and contacts then they have to create a, a process to sell their product to the end user by creating quote order these all stuff uh, salesforce provides a way to streamline all that stuff then what is service cloud service cloud is like uh, after you sell your product you have to give the service for that product so the service is like they can raise a case there will be different channels through which they raise a case so that is called as omni channel so all all uh, the stuff so that a company can manage the service and the sales of this product is uh, can be done by the salesforce uh, crm or a crm technology and what is Salesforce CRM? CRM uh, Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM software. It makes it easier for companies to find more prospects, close more deals and connect with, a, with, connect with customers in a whole new way. So they can provide them with amazing service at scale. So before Salesforce, uh, companies had to maintain their, app, their uh, leads data, their relationships through Excel files and other unproductive ways. Salesforce automated all those ways and like uh, help big business increase their business relationships and profitability with uh, and, and one more thing is a lo large amount of data is stored in Salesforce. So with now Salesforce is moving towards AI and AI, with that large amount of data getting stored in Salesforce uh, in using AI technologies, we can uh, generate insights from the data. Let's say power of the customer, what he likes, uh, what he dislikes, insights about the customers. So that all stuff we can uh, get insights from the data. Now, uh, Salesforce is built on Java backend and uh, with uh, Java is the language that is used to build Salesforce and Oracle as its database. So one question is, is Salesforce just a database? No, Salesforce is not just a database. It is more than just a database. 
it provides both a database and a ui user interface for the business users to perform business actions so we'll discuss what all things uh, as a salesforce developer you can do and what major things salesforce help a business with as i said uh, as i explained previously sales and service were the two major stuff that salesforce started with uh, to streamline uh, these services for a business now within time um, so these markets have saturated and salesforce have been trying to bring its products that suit specific industries for example automobile cloud one product for communication cloud consumer goods cloud so salesforce is moving towards that uh, an important question as a college student or fresher should i learn salesforce so salesforce is nothing like kind of like rocket science i would say so salesforce follows the concept of object oriented programming and within uh, as i told you salesforce is a platform as a service as well so you can customize salesforce so uh, the programming language used within salesforce is apex apex programming language is similar to java so if you uh, practice more on your oops concepts and java concepts then you are well complete to learn salesforce at any time and i feel you should uh, you should not learn salesforce as an isolation you should just learn it with other it concepts uh, like data structures and uh, algorithms and uh, ai and cloud computing so you your focus should not only be just i want to learn salesforce you can learn it salesforce should, i will add an advantage but it should not be learned as an isolation that i will only learn salesforce and just it i am good to go because the it industry is very vast and salesforce is just a small part of it so uh, uh, in the front end framework as well salesforce has its own front end framework that is lightning web components which which is a javascript es6 framework that is similar to react so if you have good concepts on javascript so javascript is like javascript language is like really vast it is like the uh, language that browser understands so if you have learn javascript as a vast then you can anytime learn lightning web components what are the resources you should follow to learn salesforce i'd say trailhead trailhead is the best resource and it's the official platform for learning salesforce that is provided by salesforce so i'll show you after uh, this uh, ppt the trailhead uh, platform as well developer.salesforce.com is like another good you will find the documentations here you will have developer blogs to learn one important thing within trailhead is the certifications so salesforce has its own certification program that is offered through trailhead so as a fresher you can check out that and start learning from trailhead the Uh, introductory salesforce certification is the salesforce administration exam that you can uh, start learning and for let me go to my chrome browser and let me show you trailhead so this is the website trailhead.salesforce.com here you can see uh, a lot of things to learn if you click uh, go here click on credentials you will see all the credentials which you can learn if you click on learn you can click on trails and you will see all the badges from which you can start learning so let's say uh, uh you can pick one role for example you want you, you have selected salesforce administrator you can select this i want to learn administrator now uh this you can click on this you'll get the exam guide then click here prepare for your salesforce administrator exam and you will see all the modules that are needed to clear your salesforce exam so this is like a really good and the official platform by salesforce to start learning and uh, you can schedule your exam from webassessor.com/salesforce you can create your account and from here you can schedule uh, your certification exam so i wanted to show you this now let me go back so thanks for watching everyone this video was specifically for salesforce freshers and absolute beginners uh thanks everyone for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks